it out. What's going on guys? Hey, so uh, real quick video tonight. I've been working on my uh, spray rig here for a couple weeks now and I finally got all my parts in and I uh, wanted to show it off. All right, so uh, one of the things that I did differently from the other people that I've seen build a similar sprayer is I used an existing uh, tank and spray setup um, I bought a uh, nine gallon master cart sprayer um, off of Do My Own and I took it off the cart and I put it onto a uh, Lesco spreader frame that I picked up off of Craigslist for pretty cheap. Um, and the reason why I did that, why I chose this specifically was it came with the pump, um, came with the tank, and it already had the pump wired up and split to run both a boom and a spot sprayer. So if I go back here, there's a switch right here where I can just switch the boom off. And if I turn on the pump, it'll pressurize just the spot sprayer. And so then I've got this spot sprayer ready to go. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, put a, I'll put a link in the description to show where I got this. I think it's a pretty sweet little setup. And then I just bought a uh, Chapin three nozzle boom uh, for the time being. I wanted to see how well that would do and uh, shut up. Yeah so really? Uh, so like I was saying um, I just went ahead and bought this Chapin three nozzle boom. Uh, it was like 30 bucks or something pretty cheap and then uh, Literally the only thing I had to do after I mounted it to the uh, to the actual frame of this spreader was uh, get this little 3 8 to 3 8 uh, nipple to threaded end and threaded it right into that shape and boom and away we go. So it comes with this switch right here that I, I went ahead and just mounted up here. Um, I'll probably get some different grips to make this look a little bit nicer. Um, but the nice thing is right here, you can just uh, plug in your battery charger that it comes with and, and it's ready to go. Uh, you don't have to do anything too crazy. It's uh, just ready to go.